Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see why is your person staying silent, why they're keeping quiet and not communicating. It's going to be a general reading, please keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading of myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Alright, it just feels like the cards flying out okay no contact no communication but you do feel this person's presence or they do like feel they feel and think about you a lot okay so there's this emotional thread that i feel like still ties the both of you together it's sad because i feel like the no contact no communication is ultimately stagnating your relationship and your connection with this person okay there's something here that bothers them there is there's something here that worries them but guess what they're not opening up to you they're not um, they're not talking about it and maybe that's their thing they don't like to talk about things they like to suppress their emotions they like to pretend that you know nothing bothers them when it truly does there's something here that I feel like is adding to the complexity of this relationship and I feel like there's it's a complicated emotional state of affairs is what it is you I feel like there may be someone else involved I feel like there's more than just two energies here so it's likely that your person has feelings for more than just yourself um, it could be something that they're holding on to from the past. So an ex, a relationship, a past hurt, a past resentment, past um, relationship connection. I said that twice. Um, something here that they're holding on to. And you know what? It's keeping them stuck. It's keeping them stagnated. But they don't know how to move forward. Okay? There's absolutely, you know, ways that they can move forward. But I feel like they're choosing not to. They're refusing. I feel like they're engaging in ways that are avoiding them dealing with emotions here or avoiding them dealing with your situation okay because there's some sort of truth that your person has to confront but you know it's not easy for them to do so confronting the truth would expose a lot of things it would expose maybe the person that they really are or you know what some of the actions that they've done here which they're not inter entirely proud of your person is really thinking about things. I feel like they're in their head. And I feel like just because they're not communicating with you, it doesn't mean that their feelings for you have dissolved, have gone away, or that they've completely, you know, forgotten about you. I just think that they're somehow stuck. Stuck on the past, stuck on a past relationship, stuck on an ex, stuck on something you said or something you've done, or stuck on why this relationship faltered. There's something here that I feel like that's preventing this person from moving forward. Um... And I, and I feel like what's preventing this relationship from growing or from moving or from progressing in any way, shape or form is the fact that you guys are not communicating. Because something is bothering them and it's bothering you too. And I think maybe you've been poking and prodding this person or maybe not. Maybe you think it's in your head. Maybe you think you're imagining things. Here's the thing. You've got a lot of suit of cups here. Um, let your instinct guide you. So if you feel like they've been acting different, if you feel like there's something wrong, if you feel like they're talking to an ex, whatever it is that you're feeling, right on the money. Because there's something, what you're feeling, you're feeling for a reason, okay? Um, any intuitive associations that you get around your person or around their situation, be it good or bad, there's a reason why you feel that, okay? So I, you know... I would recommend that you explore that. The cards seem uh, to certainly do so. I also feel like there's some sort of cycles that are being repeated here. Okay, behavioral or emotional cycles or your relationship is going around in circles. So maybe you take two steps forward and then one, te one step back. Maybe this is something that they typically do. You know, when things get a little bit uncomfortable or when you guys have to deal with an issue, instead of dealing with it, this person pulls back because they don't want to deal with the issue. They don't want to talk about their emotions. They don't want to talk about what's bothering them. So they pull away and they don't contact, uh, they don't communicate with you. They don't contact you. They don't respond. They go MIA, missing in action for a few days, right? And they that's their thing. That's what they do. And, you know, you get upset. You get 
um, you feel let down, but then you forgive this person. And this is then how, you know, this cycle is being born and is being created and is being repeated because there's this level of tolerance that allows for this to happen. So watch for any cycles, watch for any re repeated cycles or patterns that are hindering, damaging and hurting this relationship, okay? Whether it's yours, whether it's theirs, whether it's the both of you. Um, but I, I feel like it kind of looks like a web to me. Someone is weaving a tangled web. Is it because this person is involved with someone else? And, you know, they have feelings for this other person or they're trying to keep their options open and that's what's preventing your relationship from moving forward. Uh, maybe this person purposely goes missing, you know. For some of you, I feel like there's... And this isn't for all of you. This is just going to be for some of you. Maybe this person purposely, you know, just you don't hear from this person on the weekend. And that's when, you know, that's when they get busy with someone else on the weekend. Or that's when their time and their attention goes towards this third party. Or, you know, going out and maybe trying to form new connections when they should really be building a relationship or a connection with you. If that's what you guys, you know, have agreed upon. So, watch for any cycles, watch for any repeated patterns. Because um, there's something here that I feel like is hindering or damaging to the connection. I also feel like your person is like, they're stuck. They're stuck on... Uh, maybe they're confused about their emotions for you. Maybe they're scared to fall in love. Maybe they're scared to open themselves up. I do feel like there's some sort of patterns that I see in your person's energy and in this connection. I also want to warn against the glistening allure of illusion. So maybe this person thinks the grass is greener on the other side. Okay, maybe this person thinks that they're greener pastures elsewhere. Maybe they want to keep their options open. You know, there could be a multitude of things going through this person's mind. But someone needs to look past the glistening allure of illusion. Because, you know, something he has a very shiny wrapping uh, wrap, uh, wrapping paper, shiny package attached to it. But underneath that package, everything is not what it seems. So you need to look at the situation realistically. The Knight of Cups, you know, he, he's a bit of an idealist. And he reminds us that he is someone who will go to extreme lengths to pursue love. So make sure that's not you. You know, make sure you're not the one who is idolizing this person or um, who is looking at the situation and romanticizing the situation and romanticizing this person instead of seeing the reality of the situation. So I feel like what's happening right now, the no contact, no communication period is really um, important. It's very vital to this connection because it's giving you a chance to look at things and look at things from a different angle. So this momentary pause or this stagnation in this connection is allowing you to see things perhaps that you wouldn't have otherwise seen. So is it a behavioral pattern of theirs? Is it something that they, you know, do so routinely and habitually now? You know, not communicating, not contacting when um, things get a little bit tricky, when emotions or issues need addressing. Um, do they disappear on the weekends? Like, look out for any patterns because I see that there are patterns and I see there are more than just the one pattern here as well and something here needs to be illuminated because maybe it's something that you've made excuses for or maybe it's something that you've overlooked you know maybe there's all these red flags that have been popping up but you kind of saw these red flags and green flags and you know you've tolerated um, I, to me I do feel like there's more than two people involved here and that's not to say, you know, this person is out cheating or being disloyal or dishonest, but it does feel like this person might be wanting to keep their options open or they may be holding space in their life and in their heart, okay, and, um, for their, for a past, past flame to come back. So for example, for their ex, okay, they might be holding space in their heart for their ex. They may not be over their ex yet, um. Or they might just feel like you guys aren't entirely compatible. Okay, they might not necessarily see a future. It just feels like there's, they're not giving this 100%, are they? There's something here that I feel like you need to, you need to discover. You need to, you need to be revealed to you. And maybe it has, and maybe you've overlooked it, or maybe you didn't want to confront it. You didn't want to deal with it, so you made up an excuse, or you're embellished. A truth of some sort. I don't think 
you know, three of cups spilled over. I don't think all is lost. I feel like there's still an opportunity to fix things, even if you guys aren't necessarily communicating right now. But what would help is communication. It's just, what would help is honesty. You know, honesty on your end, honesty on their end. Like, just come together and openly and honestly talk about, you know, where you're at, where you want things to go. And if this person isn't on your level, you know, and if this person isn't in vibration and in alignment with what you want, you know, don't try and force to feel it. Make sure you see that, okay? Um, and also make sure you look at their actions as well and don't excuse those because, you know, people, words lie, actions never, right? And energy, the other thing, um, just going back to that whole suit of cups, okay? Energy doesn't lie. So if you feel like something's off, it's possibly because truth has been left out of the equation. So energy doesn't lie. Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye.